Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I feel extremely honored and privileged to stand here amongst you and welcome Shri Pranab Mukherjee, the Honorable President of India, to PhD Chambers, Chief Minister's Conclave 2012. Please give him a big hand. It is a momentous day for all of us to be present and welcome him along with the dynamic Chief Ministers and the De Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar, Dr. Raman Singh, Chief Minister Chhattisgarh, Professor Prem Kumar Dhumal, Chief Minister Himachal Pradesh, Vijay Bahuguna, Chief Minister Uttarakhand, and Shri Sushil Kumar Modi, Deputy Chief Minister of Bihar. Shri Omar Abdullah, Chief Minister of Jammu Kashmir, is here in Delhi, but unfortunately he is uh, not well, so he could not come at the last moment. He has sent his apologies to the Honorable President. <laughs> I request Shri Sandeep Somani, President, PhD Chamber, to present a plan to Mr. Pranab Mukherjee, Honorable President of India. This plan, plan stands for Progress, Harmony, Development, which PhD signifies. I also request him to present a pencil sketch done by the PhD creative team along with the memento. In our endeavor to promote progress in harmony for development, the elected leadership decided to re recognize and felicitate the states within our domain of work for the performance. Analysis of data for state performances have been taken from Central Statistical Office, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, Government of India. The parameters selected for the analysis have been chosen on the basis of uniformity in data availability for the states in our domain area of work. I feel proud to announce that Bihar not only tops in overall economic growth, but also has the highest industrial growth. The state has highest growth numbers. The state has highest growth numbers not only in northern and central states of India, but also amongst all the Indian states. May I now request the Honorable President to kindly give the award for highest economic growth during 2011-12 to Bihar to Sri Sushil Modi.
I also request Shri Pranam Mukherjee, Honorable Minister, to give the award for state with stability and economic growth during 2008 to 12 to Uttarakhand. The state has maintained high growth trajectory at about 14% in real GSDP growth on an average during the last five years. May I request Mr. Vijay Bahuguna to take the award. We have here with, here with us Mr. Kusmaria from Madhya Pradesh and I request Sri Pranam Mukherjee, the Honorable President, to give the award for state with highest agricultural growth during 2011-12 to Madhya Pradesh. I would like to add here that the agricultural growth rate has been observed high not only amongst the northern and central states of India, but also amongst all the states of India. Congratulations, Madhya Pradesh. <laughs> Himachal Pradesh, I request the Honorable President to give an award to the Honorable Chief Minister for the most attractive investment destination 2011-12. conducive investment environment and tops in attracting industrial investments amongst the northern and central states of India and the investment intentions grew by 116 percent on year-to-year -year basis. I request the Honorable President to give an award to the state of Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh is rich in mineral reserves and has a flourishing industrial sector. The state has shown significant performance in employment scenario and has lowest unemployment rate at 1.2% for persons of 15 years and above. Thank you very much. A report has been prepared by Yes Bank and PhD Chamber titled towards accelerated growth policy and economic snapshot of North and Central India. I request Mr. Sandeep Somani, Mr. Tushar, uh, to present the first copy of the same to the Honorable President. Thank you very much, sir. Now the moment has come to hear the Honorable President. May I now request the Honorable President of India to deliver the address